Natural plant soaps are one of my favorite things to teach people who are new to using wild plants. Most people think of soap as an item processed in a factory and would never believe that one can simply walk up and pick the right root, leaf, or nut, mix it with some water, and produce a rich foamy lather just as effective as anything purchased in the store. Plant soaps are an amazing way to see chemistry at work in natural settings, or the wild if you will. Plant soaps get their rich lather from their saponin content. Saponins are a chemical family that contains surfactant properties, which simply means it grabs water and penetrates it into oils and fats, rinsing them away. Many saponins also contain steroidal compounds, which may explain their use as poison oak and ivy remedies, as cortisone, the most popular over-the-counter treatment for poison oak and ivy, is a steroid as well. Some saponin compounds are known to have numerous health benefits when used internally and have even been processed into heart medications. Not only that, but bodybuilders have been using the steroidal saponins in the tribulus plant to raise their natural testosterone levels since the 1970s. So now that you know how it works, let's get to it. We will start with the king of soap plants in America, a mole, Chlorogalum pomeridianum, or soap root if you will. Here's a few facts about the soap root plant. First, roasting them for approximately 15 minutes will destroy the lathering action, rendering them highly edible with a taste similar to that of a potato. Second, soap roots are one of the many fish stupefying plants. Many saponin compounds are toxic to fish, but not to humans. Therefore, people around the world have used plants like the soap root to catch fish throughout our history. This can be achieved by producing enough of the rich foamy lather in areas of the water where fish are gathered to gain toxic levels. The hairs of the soap root plant can also be used just like boar bristle. They can be made into toothbrushes, hairbrushes, and even paintbrushes. As you can see, you simply peel away the soap root like an onion, exposing the inner white core, which is the portion to be eaten as well as used for soap and glue. A little goes a long way with the soap root plant, and only a small portion will be needed for a single use. An entire bulb may last you a week of daily use. Now we have one of the several species of yucca that can be used as soap, yucca whiplay, or our lord's candle. Like many soap plants, it has numerous other uses as well. Its caudex, or stalk, which grows out of the center of the plant, can be roasted and eaten just like sugar cane and agave, and is very sweet. It must be gathered before it produces its fruits, however, for then it loses its sweetness. The leaf of the yucca plant also produces a light lather, however, it will be green in color. The leaves are also a fine cordage and make a great sewing needle as well. It is the root of the yucca that is primarily used as soap and it is most easily gathered by finding a small specimen like this one and pulling it straight out of the ground. If you do not require the entire root, you can pull just a small piece of it out of the ground as it separates easily as you can see here. Now simply add a little water, give it a light smashing and you'll have all the soap you need. Here we have Asculus californica, or California buckeye. California buckeye only produces a small amount of lather and its primary use has been as a fish stupefier. It has also been used as an emergency food after extensive leaching, drying, and baking. It should not be used without the oversight of an expert, however, as California buckeye nuts are poisonous. Now, simply smash the shell with a rock, exposing the nut, and crush it down with a little water, producing a light lather. A 
Last is Curcubita potidissima, or buffalo gourd. Contrary to common beliefs, it is the young leaves of the plant and not the gourd that produces the richest lather. The seeds inside the gourd can be dried, roasted, and eaten, and the gourd itself can be used for a variety of utility purposes. It is a large vining plant that bears small, fist-sized gourds with a strong resemblance to watermelons. In case you were wondering, wild soap plants grow all over the world. Here are a few names to get you started on your own research.